My great-grandparents told me stories of a mighty dragon that descended on the holy temple. The people had rebelled against God. I will declare my judgments against them for all their evil in forsaking me. They have made offerings to other gods and worshipped the work of their own hands. In his anger, God turned his people over to the fearsome enemy, King Nebuchadnezzar, the dragon of Babylon, through whom the fury of God burned against my people. Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, has devoured me. He has crushed me. He has made me an empty vessel. He has swallowed me up like a dragon. The tears of my people flowed like a river, but they could not quench the fires that consumed our land. Into the wilderness we were led, defeated and destroyed. The God we'd forsaken, we thought he'd forsaken us. But even in our darkest moment, God would not leave or forsake his people. Once more, he made us a promise. I will not look on you in anger, for I am merciful. I will not be angry forever. Only acknowledge your guilt that you rebelled against the Lord your God. I will take you, one from a city and two from a family, and I will bring you to Zion. For 70 years, the people of God lived in Babylon. Over time, Babylon began to wither, and a great lion rose from the east, Cyrus, the king of Persia. His armies consumed the world. He set his gaze on the remains of the great dragon's lair, Babylon. There, Cyrus led a cunning attack, and the kingdom fell. Cyrus was a great and good king and did not believe in keeping men as slaves. During the first year of his reign, he issued a decree that freed the Jews. God stirred the hearts of his most devoted people to journey back to Jerusalem and rebuild his temple and let each survivor, in whatever place he sojourns, be assisted by the men of his place with silver and gold, with goods, with beasts, besides free will offerings for the house of God that is in Jerusalem. Cyrus went the way of all men. Behold, Three more kings shall arise in Persia, and a fourth shall be far richer than all of them. And when he has become strong through his riches, he shall stir up all against the kingdom of Greece. Behold, Ahasuerus, Xerxes the Great, Under Xerxes, the empire prospered, and so did the Jews, who did not return to Jerusalem. Among these Jews was a family of the tribe of Benjamin. They gathered all they could scrape together and headed out from Babylon for the richest city the world had ever known, the Persian capital of Susa. During the journey, both the mother and father died, leaving a baby girl to Mordecai. Little did my cousin know that I would grow to be a woman the world would never forget. <laughs>